Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? I'm Anya Lustuk, and I'm from Pasco, Washington. And Anya, can you please tell us the testimony that you have to share with us today and the problem that you were having before? Last month, I got married, and before I got married, um, a week before, I started having this really sharp pain on my side, and um, it was really painful. So I went to the doctor, and, um, and bef before I went to the doctor, I, st I thought it was um, like a pinched nerve or something. Um, I had pinched nerves before, but this was really, really painful. It was kind of like in the nerve and hitting my hip bone, not really topically. So on Friday, I was going to the doctor, and he said, I have shingles. And I told him, I'm like, no, I don't. Um, I don't accept it. And he's like, I'm getting married next. I told him, I'm getting married next week. I cannot have this. I'm, it's, it's not right. He's like, well, you're going to have it for four weeks. And I just straight up told him, no, I won't. The follow, uh, the, this was on Friday that um, I went to the doctor. On Sunday, we were having the prayer line. So at the office, I'm sitting there, and I'm in so much pain. He prescribed me um, medication, um, and I was taking over-the-counter medication, and then I was taking narcotics. And at one point, I think I was taking five different medications because this was – shingles is really um, – kind of a nerve block pain, and it's a really sharp pain pinching, like a needle pinching constantly into your hip bone or in a certain area of your body. Um, so as a result of taking so many pain medications, I ended up having stomach ulcers, and that's like a really burning, sharp pain in your stomach where you can't eat, you can't drink, you can't sleep, you can't just really do anything. Um, so that Sunday I came to church and I was in a, um, I usually help for the prayer line. During worship I was standing and I was worshiping and I was worshiping God like I had no pain, even though I was still having a lot of pain. Um, during the message I had to go sit in the back, roll up in the ball because I couldn't even sit straight because I was in so much pain. So finally the prayer line came and I was the first one in the prayer line and um, the evangelist sprayed the anointing water over me and prayed for me. I didn't feel any difference in my body. I didn't feel anything. I just continued on with the day. Uh, but before the prayer line, I was taking medications every four hours, and it would just take the edge off, but it wouldn't really take away the pain that I was having. And I had trouble eating. I had trouble sleeping. I had trouble doing anything. And here, a week before my wedding, I'm trying to prepare for the wedding, and I have to deal with this. Um, so after the prayer line, um, I still had the pain. I was still dealing with it, but that was the last day that I took the pain medication. I decided God is my healer. I'm not going to believe the report of the doctor. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Um, each day that week, um, the pain became uh, less and less and less. Um, and I think Wednesday or Thursday, I had no pain already. I still had the rash, but it started to go away. And the rash, it's kind of like um, boils, really. It's kind of like blisters on your skin. So before the prayer line, like the clothes touching it, it was just really painful walking, sitting, anything. Um, so the next on Saturday, I got married, and I had my husband take a picture of the thing, and the rash was gone. And I was pain-free. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. As you can see, this second picture is, now you can see all the boils have gone, and it's just completely scabbed over now. So one week before, you saw that the picture before, it had all the boils and all of the rash, and one week later, it was completely gone, just scabbed over, only a scar, and no more. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, Anna, can you tell us, now that you've received this wonderful miracle and this great healing, what is your advice uh, for the people who are here today or those who are in the congregation? What can you say to them to encourage them in their faith if they're having a similar issue? You know, it was a fact that I had shingles. Doctor did tell me I had shingles. It wasn't something that, oh, did you just feel it? It's not, you know, it's not there. It was there, but I choose to refuse what the doctor told me, because I know that God is my healer, and 
I just still believe in the report of the Lord. So like you today, you might have a sickness. You might have an issue that you're dealing with. But whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe what the devil is whispering in your ear? Or are you going to believe what the word of God says? So I encourage you guys, even though you're, whatever you're going through, you might not feel anything after the prayer line, but choose to repeat, uh, believe in the report of the Lord.